Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to turn your own drawings into cut files in Cricut Design Space. I drew these drawings on my iPad and I turned them into cut files in Cricut Design Space. And it's really pretty simple. You only need a couple of items. You're going to need an app for your iPad and Cricut Design Space. So let's jump over and get started. So here we are, we're looking at my iPad and in particular, what we're looking at is this app right here called Procreate. This is the app that I use to do my drawing of the girl. So we're gonna click on that and you can see here, here she is right here in the upper right corner and some other ones that I've done. So you're gonna click on your drawing and once you, I'm not gonna go into how to use this app. There are tons of tutorials on how to use the app and that's not really what this tutorial is about. And there are also tons of apps to draw with your on your iPad. I have an iPad Pro and I have the Apple Pencil. This app is used by a ton of calligraphers and hand lettering artists um, to do hand lettering. A lot of the cut files that you see were made with this app. But again, there are lots and lots of apps you can use. It doesn't have to be this one. You don't have to have the iPad Pro and you don't have to have the iPad or the iPencil. By the way, the iPencil only works with the iPad Pro. But again, you can totally use this app and draw with your finger if that's what suits you. So here is the drawing that I made. The thing that I like about this app as opposed to some of the other apps that I looked at is that it utilizes layers. And so when I set up this file, I did everything by colors. All of my layers are set up by colors. So for instance, if I turn off this green layer, you can see the green stripes disappear from her shirt. And that's gonna help me tremendously in design space. If I turn off this layer, her pink lips go away. So what that allows me to do is I can click on this layer and then I can click on select, move, and I can move those stripes right over here. Similarly, I can click on the lips layer, click select, move, and I can move those lips over here. Now you wanna make sure you don't resize them when you move them because they're going to fit this design. But I can move those layers to the side. So now that I can move those layers to the side, what I can do is save this image just like this and pull that into design space. So what that's going to allow me to do is once I get into design space, I can slice this apart and I will have my different layers to cut in different colors of vinyl or HTV or iron on, whatever you're going to cut it on or cut it out of cardstock. But that's why I chose Procreate and why I like this app because of the layers function. Now again, I'm, this isn't a tutorial on how to use Procreate. I'm not going to go through all of this. And by no means don't think that you can't do this because you can't draw because I seriously can't draw. This was, this took me a while. And the beauty of Procreate is that, you know, you can come in here. Let me just make a new layer and say I was drawing something, use a brush, say I was drawing something, you know, a smiley face. And I'm like, oh, you know, that eye looks all cockeyed. I can just come in here and erase it and try it again. And that's what I did when I drew her. I just kept perfecting, not perfecting, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. And it has a very sketchy look to it. That's the only way I can draw. It has to not be perfect because I can't draw that way. But that's the beauty is this app will let you just keep erasing and erase and erase and erase. And I, that's why I have so many different layers because you can see like that's just her arm. So that way, if I didn't like it, I could just erase that layer. I could just target that layer and erase it without erasing, you know, her shirt that I already had the way I wanted it. So that's enough about the app. So once you have your picture the way you want it, you can go over here and procreate. And if I click on it and swipe to the right. I can click share and then I have the option to share this to a Photoshop file, a PDF, a JPEG, a PNG, or a TIFF file. I'm going to save it. 
I personally would probably save it into Photoshop because I can then open up the layers and do what I need to do. But a lot of people don't have Photoshop, so I'm going to show you the basic way for the programs that most people have. So I'm just going to save it as a PNG. It's going to come over here. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm just going to airdrop it to my Mac. You could email it to yourself. You can do whatever you want. This is the easiest way for me. So I'm just going to right click this. It's sh this showed up on my Mac and I'm going to name this. Let's just call it copy one. Oops, copy one. And I'm going to drag this to the desktop just for ease of finding it once we get into design space. Now, I will say if you have Illustrator, Inkscape, and you're knowledgeable how to use those, I would pull that file into there and make an SVG, which is going to do the next part for you. And that's how I would probably do it. I would use Illustrator, bring it in there, and let it make an SVG that's all layered by colors for me. But again, I realize a lot of people don't have that, so I want to show you how to do this with just the app and Cricut Design Space. So we're going to click Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and here is the copy one right here. We're going to click Open. Here she is. I'm going to save her as a complex image. I want to make sure I get all of those details. Now, if we, let me zoom this, zoom out a little bit so you can see all this. If we just said continue and put this into our canvas right now, Design Space, all it sees is this which is a plain white piece of paper. It doesn't know there's a drawing on there because it sees this white background. We don't wanna cut that white background. So we're gonna hit select and erase, click on the white background and delete it. So anywhere you see white, we're going to delete. Perfect. And if we zoom in a little bit, I can see there's a few more pieces of white right there. There's some down here. A little bit by your chin. So Design Space is just going in and erasing anything that I'm clicking on. There's a piece of white right there. Might be kind of hard for you to see, but I can see it. If you can't get it, I need to erase this white between her lips. So I want to put that pink in there. I'd have to zoom up a little bit more to get in there. Looks like I got it. Zoom out. Anything that you can't get um, quite, anything that doesn't look exactly the way you want it or if you want to clean it up a little bit, you can see these, see this how sketchy this is? This is a hand drawn drawing and I like it like that, but if you wanted it to be you know, a little bit nicer, we could go in there and clean up the edges, make it smooth. I like, personally like it looking like I drew it. I wanted it to look like I drew it. That's why I did it the way I did it. But you can obviously clean it up with the eraser tool or whatever you want. But once you have it looking the way you want, and oops, I can see here, I erased some of her lips. So I wanna undo, undo, got them back. And that brought back this part that I had cleaned up. All right, so once you have it the way you want, you're gonna hit continue. And here she is. We're gonna save her as a cut image. If you wanted to do print and cut, by all means do that. If you're going to do print and cut, then I would not separate those layers out before you send it over here. So we're going to save it as a cut file. And again, I'm just gonna call it LAN. That's my initials. And I'm gonna call it girl with sunglasses. And I'm going to click Save. Perfect. So we're going to click on her and put her into our image. Now, we have a couple choices here. We could slice this apart. You can see she came in, she's all on one layer and she's all one color. That's not what we want. So we can slice her apart and separate these images out. And we could do that by a couple different ways, but what's going to be even easier is to click on her, click duplicate. All right, so let's move one of them over here. Now this one, we want to just concentrate on the black layers. 
So what we do is while she's selected, we're going to click contour and we're going to click on these pieces that we don't want it to cut. Perfect. So here we have our black layer and there's some other little pieces there that I didn't clean up very well. And again, if you were doing this for, um, you know, for a real project, I'm just doing this for the video. You want to spend some time and clean that up better. Let's see if I can get rid of those specks. All right. Well, they're in there. I'm not too worried about it. But then we have this image and this image, we want to target those white layers. So again, we're going to grab that one, click contour, and we're going to turn this off, turn this off, and you can click it here or you can turn it, click it over here in the layer panel, but I'm trying to just get rid of her and just focus on this part. Let's see what we got. So we got a little bit of her left. Grab it again. Contour. Get rid of that. Brought her back. Let me put her over here so I can see what's going on when that contour window opens. Hit contour again. All right, now I can see what I need to delete. That, that, that. That stripes. I want to keep all that. So there's a little bit in here. All right. So I'm not too worried about that. That's basically my stripe layer. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I just need the lips on this one. And I think that's going to be easiest to get with a shape. So I'm going to grab the shape click on it. I'm going to put it right over those lips. Select both of those two layers. Make sure we only have two layers selected and click slice. And here's my lips layer. So I can delete this. Delete that. And just to clean things up a little bit, let's put another shape in here. And I'm just going to select this and this slice and that's going to allow me to get rid of all those speckles. Delete that. Okay so here we have basically our three layers. This is her lips. These are the stripes. So all we do is go over here and I can change these to pink. I can change the stripes to pink if I wanted them. And you can see once we cut this out this is going to fit together and look just like it's supposed to. Move that to the back. Let's hit select all. We can resize this and you can see we've now got her the way that we're going to cut her out. Of course, you're going to line this all up a little bit better. But that's basically how I created the images and then turned them into cut files. So you would hit make it. And again, you're going to spend a little more time cleaning it up so that you don't have the speckles. We would slice that out. but. There it is. There's your black layer and your pink layer, which is the stripes. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and it has inspired you to give this a try. It's a lot of fun. You could have your kids draw a drawing on the iPad and you could transfer it onto a shirt or a backpack or a tote bag. And how fun would that be for a personalized gift for grandma or anybody? I think it's a lot of fun. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video, and please visit me on my blog at laurienunamaker.com and never stop making. See ya!